up guys we'll be doing a short video about intelli modes on our new spark and uh, kind of old already i there is some sort of problem with my dji phantom and it's going to come back to us within like three days i've already received the confirmation number so thank you dji uh, this is all about tripod mode selfie mode and uh, there are like swirly modes droney modes so we'll be doing all the intelligent modes that is present on the dji spark now let's begin before we even begin we have to calibrate the drone i mean you've seen my other videos i always talk about this but i thought that since i'm doing a drone video i'll make sure that you guys calibrate your drone and so that it knows its home point and if suppose you lose your drone or anything just press the home button and it returns to that same exact point now we're doing a palm launch so palm launch is pretty easy uh, press the left corner top button and you will launch the drone from your palm uh, whenever you enter into the intelligent mode you have to agree to the terms and condition and that's how the screen looks on the intelligent mode get a lot of options so the first option is tap to fly so basically wherever you want to fly you just press where you want to fly as you can see that it has i've pressed that button out there and it flies to that exact location and you can take over manual control whenever you want the next mode that we are be going is active track now um, you can press that go button so before you do active track you have to turn that on and you have to drag a box on the subject that you're going to do active track now when you press that go button the drone actually follows you now since i am not in a location where i can allow the drone to follow and i'm not allowed to fly a lot uh, higher or anything because I was in a controlled environment uh, basically the active track actually follows you uh, I've also heard that it can follow you from 0 to 100 meters and uh, it doesn't go more than 100 meters so make sure if you are making the drone follow you uh, it should be between like in 100 meters and make sure your uh, front sensors are also turned on because if there are like branches and trees and stuff like that, uh, the front sensors will allow you to avoid or any sort of accident or incidents that's gonna happen. Now from there, we will go to our next mode, uh, which is going to be our tripod mode. Now, <laughs> funny thing is that a lot of people are questioning, what is this tripod mode all about? Well, remember the DJI ad, what was it showing you? It was showing you that uh, there are a lot of high school kids uh, having their diploma and their party and they're all throwing their um, you know like diploma certificates tossing the hats on the top well this tripod mode is all about that which means that uh, it stays put at a certain height and it will not move around and basically if you're skateboarding you do your stunts uh, if you are biking do your stunts and whatever so it takes uh, that video of that moment Interesting uh, part of the uh, video is our gesture control and palm control. So for palm control, you have to hold your hand straight up and basically what it does is the sensors follow you. Now, uh, most of the time it works, but sometimes it doesn't work. Like at this instance, it is supposed to fly back. Well, it didn't fly back. So you have to make sure your hands, all the fingers are together. There should not be any space. So that was a fail out there, but these are all the stuffs that you can do with palm control, uh, like a confirm, follow, selfie, beacon, and stuff like that. You can try that out. Um, I have seen that sometimes palm it fails because you process. have to keep your fingers together uh, and you have to hold open your palm. I was not doing that. I was not keeping my fingers together. So this is a palm landing. You see how smooth it smoothly it lands on your palm and uh, that's all guys uh, this was a very small video if you like the video subscribe to my channel